Hello everyone, my name is Ashish and you are watching another Webguy YouTube channel and today we will see how we can easily create a top navigation bar using CSS Flexbox. There are a lot of ways you can create this type of navigation bar but if you are learning CSS in 2018 or 2019, you should be doing this using CSS Flexbox technique. So let's roll the intro and get started. If you have not yet subscribed to our channel, please hit the subscribe button and also the notification bell icon so that you don't miss any of our videos. I am using the Atom text editor for writing the code. I am also using live server package for Atom so that I don't have to reload my web page every time I make some changes. So we will start by creating a top nav class to hold all the elements of the navigation bar. The branding class is for the company name or the website name and the top menu class will hold the menu items. Now let's come on to the CSS. We will give it a universal margin and padding to 0 and we will set the box sizing property to border box so that the height and width properties include the padding and border. Now in the top nav class, we will set the display to flex. What this will do is create a flex box with two items, the branding class and the top menu items and place them side by side. The justify content property tells how the flex items use the available space on the horizontal axis. Setting this value to space between sets the item with complete white space between them. The align items property tells us how the flex items are placed on the vertical axis. Setting this value to center puts the item at the vertical center of the container. Let's give it some background color and some margin and padding. Now we'll create another flex box for the menu items and we can see that the navigation bar is coming up. Now let's add some styling to the menu elements. Also, let's add a simple hover state to make it more beautiful. Take your time, not in the fast lane, I understand that you've been broken too many times, but I'll be waiting to make you lose. Now we can see as we decrease the size of the screen or browser, things doesn't look very pretty. We can fix this by using CSS media queries. 
Media queries are nothing. It is just a rule which lets us define different CSS properties and values for different screen sizes and thus make our design responsive to all kinds of screen sizes. In this case, we will set the max screen size to 700 pixels. What, the, what this means is that if the screen size is less than 700 pixels, it should apply the following styles. In this case, we want the menu items and the title to come one under the other in case of smaller screens. This is accomplished by using display block. We also want them to the center of the screen. And finally, we'll increase some padding to get this final result. You can see this navigation bar is completely responsive and is really, really easy to create. You can find the source code in the description below. If you found this video useful, please hit the like button and share with your friends. If you are new here, consider subscribing. You will get new tutorials every week. So see you in the next video. Till then, take care and happy coding.